Hello YouTube, N3SDO back with you again. I'd like to present part two of a multi-part video series on the Simple Spectrum Analyzer D6. In this video I will demonstrate some of the functions that you can do with the tracking generator. You can generate a single frequency with the VFO. You can sweep that frequency and using the included return loss bridge measure antenna SWR and also do filter response and reflection tests. First we'll start with the VFO for single frequency stable signal generation. In this shot I've got it set to 146 megahertz. The frequency error according to my frequency counter it's about 900 hertz high. Now I've done nothing to calibrate the frequency or compensate for it. This is the way it came out of the box which isn't too bad. The output power level measured with an external meter it was specced to be 0 dBm tiny bit hot it's measuring 0 0.6 dBm so it's a little bit over 1 milliwatt but not enough that's going to cause you any problems. The power measurement tab on uh, the software didn't work for me I've got a shot of uh, what I get from that it just doesn't respond to anything. Now if you're using the included return loss bridge you have to be observant of the input and the output of it. You've got the input of the return loss bridge that you connect to the output of the tracking generator then you connect the return loss bridge output side to the D6's input. Then the AD port you connect to the antenna or your device to be tested. I find this is quite useful for checking antennas. I've got my external ground plane antenna hooked up now. You can see the 2 to 1 SWR and 3 to 1. Also uh, you can sweep it quite wide, see the entire uh, bandwidth that uh, the antenna is capable of, uh, even above and below it will still receive quite well. And if you sweep it quite wide up to 500 megahertz you can also see where it shows on uh, 440 band at the uh, third harmonic of the antenna that it's still usable there, it's got a reasonable SWR. Now if you look at the ripples in the response uh, in between the 2 meter and the 440 band what that is is uh, caused by the 50 ohm coax being badly mismatched at the load end and causing uh, different reflections as the uh, SWR builds up and then fades as uh, it travels the length of the coax. Three, two, one. In this demonstration, I've got a 100 megahertz bandpass filter that was rescued from an old junked signal generator. I'm going to be sweeping it to observe the filter response, find out if it's uh, frequency of interest, and to measure the insertion loss, bandwidth, observe the pass band ripple and the slope on the high and low frequency edges. Now this is a form of the S21 forward gain that when you're connecting the tracking generator input to the output of the device under test measuring the output uh, of the device under test to the spectrum analyzer input. Now you can easily see as I adjust the screws for the capacitors on the bandpass filter how it goes up and down you can change the response frequencies, you can increase the loss, you can uh, widen it, you can shrink it down, you can move it higher or lower. It's quite uh, easily done as you can see on the screen. So the 4 gig filter I've got here, this is a mechanically tuned filter putting it in line and doing a 3 to 5 gig sweep on it looks like it's got a nice wide pass band on it a little bit of ripple in there but the bad news is it looks like it's 10 decibels down now it turns out that's not accurate what I'm seeing uh, is that it's right at the top of the D6's frequency range 
And the tracking generator is starting to roll off some of its output along with some of the sensitivities rolling off on the input of the D6. So what I'm going to do is connect the input and output cables together with a double female SMA connector to do a basic normalization calibration that creates a zero reference to measure the output roll-off of the tracking generator along with the sensitivity roll-off of the input creates our reference trace that we can then compare against the filter when we insert it back in. This will allow us to do a visual comparison. So here our reference line is the green trace. The blue line is the passband and uh, slope of the 4 gig filter. And down at the bottom, I just left the connections open. There was nothing connected in. That's a measurement of the crosstalk or uh, leakage between the cables and possibly some internal leakage within the D6 itself. So my filter's really not too bad. Uh, it's not uh, losing 10 decibels in insertion loss as I originally thought. Uh, looks like it's only got a couple of dB uh, loss on it. So this wraps up part two of a multi-part series on the simple spectrum analyzer D6. In this video, I demonstrated generating signals with the VFO on a single frequency of using the sweep frequency in the return loss bridge to measure antenna SWR across frequency and also to sweep the frequency of filters and to do a normalization calibration, which you may need to do if you're getting up towards the high end of the response of the D6. In the next video, I've got planned to play with some notch filters. So at this time, I will say 73s and 3 SDO.